Hello everyone. Let's speak today about different materials and how Maker can help you to, to find the right parameters to assess which speed, which power you need to choose to get the best results when you even want to burn a material. So in this case, cut for instance, or whether you want to engrave it. It's always a bit of a guesswork. You look to online publications where you will find some information about the right parameters to choose. You will hear about um, others experiences and you try to repeat their results by using and applying the same parameters but it's always slightly different your laser might work differently than the, the very same laser of a friend of yours due to the fact your co2 tube is um, older than his or newer than his you might not have the um, the very same type of lens than he's having and so on and so forth so there are a couple of different ways to do that, but one of the simplest one is actually using Meerkat to help you to assess that. If you do click here within the tools section on laser tools, parameter test, then Meerkat will offer you to generate a test pattern where you can actually try a couple of different parameters for a given operation. So let's, for instance, try something here with a cut operation. I really want to cut through the material. I'm not quite sure actually how fast I need to go, how often I need to do certain things, what speed I can use, um, what power I need to apply, and other parameters as well. And it gives you here the opportunity to choose between the different operation types, cut, engrave, raster, image, and hatch. So let's use cut, let's restate it. The first parameter that we wanted to do is speed. And maybe here I try to do how many passes I want to have. So for instance, if I start here with two millimeters per second, I go to 10 millimeters per second. And on the other side, uh, the amount of passes should range from one to, to five. And I'm just quickly doing that, that you can see what it's doing here. Create a pattern. He's asking me if I really want to do it, because normally it will just um, trash everything that you have right now on your canvas. So be careful about that. But my canvas is empty, so my scene. So let's just do it. So what's doing over here is actually it creates a couple of slightly bigger information over here. It generates a couple of test patterns in this case rectangles, where you have. The speed ranging from 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 to 10 millimeters per second, and where it will try to burn this one one time, two times, three times, four times, five times. And it generates for you the appropriate operations that you can use to, to put your material on the laser, put on the right um, power on your, on your panel, and just try to see what was going to happen if you repeat it for a couple of times, if you're going through the material or you need more passes. So this is a rather simple thing and a rather helpful thing as well to assess the right parameters to, to set and to choose when you're dealing with a new material. The very same thing is true for engrave operations for raster operations, image and hatches. So let's just engraving, engraving, you have a couple of different parameters as well. You can, once again, choose the speed. You can choose Meerkat's ability to choose the power. You can as well, and then just quickly go over here, add some additional properties over there. So for instance, you want to make sure that you have a certain amount of passes. And you can even set one of the more advanced parameters that you can have with a certain, um, operation type in this case engraving will provide you with some additional parameters to set acceleration and stuff like that we, but we can ignore it you can play around it if you want but the simplest thing is actually choose one of the, the main basic operations cut engrave raster image hatch and then we'll see what's going to happen let's quickly go through things you can do once again how many of those you want to have in the x-axis. That's the first axis you have here in the speed. What is your very first um, minimum amount that you want to look at? What is the maximum? Actually, how wide should your test button become? 
the delta, in this case, the, the spacing between two different elements, in this case, your five millimeters, actually from which color it should start. It's a bit of a more a visual thing. It does not represent anything on your, on your laser bed and so forth. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon.